Delaware Republican nominee for U.S. Senate Lauren Vitska is demanding that Senator Chris Coons denounce Joe Biden after the Gateway Pundits. Exclusive report. Showing that the former vice president, as well as his wife Jill Biden and brother Jim Biden covered for Hunter Biden, who has been accused of being sexually inappropriate with a young relative. Vitska also noted that Biden himself has been credibly accused of sexually assaulting Tara Reid. The evidence of Hunter Biden's alleged sexual impropriety with a female family member, who was a child at the time, has now been reported for the world to see, Vitska said. The text messages reveal that the Biden family, including Joe Biden, protected Hunter instead of taking the child's accusation seriously. Joe Biden himself has also been credibly accused of sexual assault by Tara Reid, another story the mainstream press has refused to cover. The GOP candidate demanded that Coons drop his endorsement of Biden's campaign. Trending Breaking exclusive, text messages show VP Biden and his wife colluded to suppress Hunter's actions with a certain minor. I am calling on Senator Coons to immediately denounce Joe Biden, and drop his endorsement of the Biden campaign, Vitska continued. Senator Coons has also been endorsed by Joe Biden. I am calling on him to distance himself from that endorsement, too. Vitska also noted Senator Coons' hypocrisy. Chris Coons took part in the Women's March rallies, even donning the infamous pink hat to show his supposed support for sexually abused and exploited women, and the number Me Too movement, she said. But now, when women and girls accused by the Biddens need a voice more than ever, he is protecting them, just like he protected Joe Biden when the vice president groped his daughter. The numerous allegations of sexual abuse levied against the Biden family should be enough for Senator Coons, if he has a level of judgment becoming of a U.S. senator or cares about survivors of sex crimes, to immediately condemn the Biden family. Instead of covering for them in the name of partisan politics, she finished. Her campaign also asked that we directed readers who may be survivors of sexual abuse to the National Sexual Assault Hotline at 1-800-656-4673.